Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Flashback Kadira car to review today. Guys, you guys are the best, man. I'm going to tell you this right now. You guys are the best because if it wasn't for you guys, a lot of these player reviews wouldn't happen. So I really, really appreciate it. Really, really, really appreciate it. But for the sake of the video, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at Kadira's card. So we're looking at someone that is six foot two with medium, medium work rates, two star skimmels with a four star weak foot. Now, the cool thing about this card having the four-star weak foot is I do mostly see him playing in the CDM position, but because he has that four-star weak foot, we could potentially play him in the left center defenseman position, and he could potentially play it really well. I do think that the main position you should use this card in is going to be the right center defenseman position, but it's just about the usable concept that we want to work with here, right? Because if you did the OTW Tonali card, you can kind of use him with... Um, with Kadira, and both of them have the four-star weak foot, but then you can also do this thing with Rabiot's card, where they're both medium-medium, while Rabio is a left-footed player, Kadira is the right-footed player, right? So kind of, you know, you got some variables to work with in regards to that. But in regards to how this card is actually going to perform in game. He has 70 acceleration with 81 sprint speed. So obviously the acceleration part of the card is kind of low, uh, but he still looks like someone that could be really, really solid in the CDM position. We have to obviously give him the shadow chemistry style to, you know, boost the card as much as possible in that area, as well as the defensive area too, because of the body type that he has and the six foot two height that he has, right? So 81 sprint speed definitely makes up for it a little bit, but he does have some sort of shooting capabilities as well. He's got 83 attacking positioning with 73 finishing, 88 shot power, and 83 long shots. Those shooting capabilities on this card would have actually been kind of cool had his dribbling stats been a little bit better, right? At 70 agility, 72 balance, it's going to affect the card a little bit because of the 6 foot 2 height and body type that he has, right? But we're going to see what's up with this card because he could surprise me, to be honest, right? Uh, he's got 88 shot power, 83 long shots with 91 components. So the fact that he has the composure stat as well is really, really nice. For base card stats on passing, his passing actually looks pretty nice as well. He's got 93 short passing with 90 long passing on 91 composure. So this guy is not really going to feel too much pressure. Uh, the pressure that he's going to feel is mostly going to be his dribbling not being crazy high. But again... He definitely looks like a pretty cool card. Uh, 70 agility, 72 bounce. Very big thing that we're going to have to take a look at in game. Uh, but the defensive stats for base card stats look great. 90 in uh, interceptions with 84 heading accuracy, 88 defensive awareness, 88 standing tackles, and 81 sliding tackles. So those are really, really good base card stats because when you give him the shadow chemistry style, you are essentially making most of these stats perfect right defensive awareness is a big thing for me the fact that he has it at an 88 this card would be really nice on the medium high work rates i really wish that he was but the medium medium is going to work okay with that defensive awareness as it is right so again we're going to be testing all this stuff out in game to see what his positioning is like does he track after players all that kind of stuff right in regards to player traits he does have the injury prone trait which ea should not be a thing in this game okay but Ladies and gentlemen, this team is actually set up perfectly for the four. I'm going to use the four three one two because I want to see what his defensive capabilities is like as a center mid on stay back while attacking. Right, so we're going to be using the four three one two over here. We'll be using it for which one doesn't look too crazy. We'll be using it for the defensive ones. Actually, we'll go ahead and make a new team. He said I can mess with his tactics as much as I want, but I don't want to mess with it too much. Right, so we're going to make our own team over here. And then uh, we're going to be trying out the 4-3-1-2 with him playing through the middle. This team is actually really, really well set up for it because of the types of players he actually has in the squad. But custom tactics is going to be uh, Gorillas 4-3-1-2. So 4-3-1-2. I never remember where the 4-3-1-2 is in these, uh, in these things. So we're going to go over here. Kadir will play through the middle. Genie went all them off to the right side. Diego Jota up top. Instructions for this team is going to be balanced for the fullbacks. And then the center mid is going to be stay back while attacking cover center. Come back in the fence for him. Getting behind for both of the strikers. And then the tactics is going to be like this on drop back. Balance instructions. And then I believe it was 7 and 5 or 7 and 4. Yeah, I think it was 7 and 4. So we'll get into a game. See what it's like with a 4-3-1-2. Hopefully he is a beast. 
All right, we're going to push this up with Kadira. Nice little ball roll. He actually goes back into the defensive area right away. You guys see that? So when I made that pass, he kind of goes back into position. So he's definitely going to be more of a defensive player. I will admit his dribbling is way better than I thought it would be. Maybe the agility and balance might not be a huge uh, nuisance on this card. Defensive presence is really nice so far. Even in that situation, his... Uh, his positioning was great. I do like that his dribbling is actually quite nice, dudes. It is, it, it's actually noticeably nice, which is great. Oh, we made that work nicely. Genie Wijnaldum with the nice little dribbles right there. You can see that Kadira is nowhere to be found on that stay back while attacking cover center instruction, which is nice. His transitioning is actually pretty great. I actually think it's his dribbling stats, man. It's way better than I thought it would be. I thought he was going to be super sluggish, but he's actually not. By the way, I will say that this gameplay feels kind of saucy right now. So that is a big part as well. But even still, you can definitely tell if a player will feel pretty heavy in general. But he definitely doesn't feel that heavy, which is nice. Oh, Diogo Jota. You need your inform card so you can score those opportunities for me, baby girl. You could definitely tell that he's a medium, medium work rated player, though, with the way that he moves in the defensive areas. He doesn't have that high defensive work rate. That would be absolutely beautiful for a card like this. But, you know, we're still making it work in, uh, in different ways. <laughs> Look at his dribbling. Look at that. Very intricate as well, which is really nice. Now, obviously, me doing a skill move there is not ideal because of the way that he is, right? But, like I said, boys, his left stick dribbling is way better than I thought it would be. His, uh, his defensive characteristics are great right here. When I'm defending, he's already in position to kind of, like, block that area, which is great. Just right here, right? Without doing second man press, intercepts the ball really nicely because of his height and physical presence. Nice little play right there. Anzu Fati gets into position really nicely. Nice little goal right there. I always tell you guys, man, Anzu Fati, even in the player review, that he's definitely a player that you use in the striker position. Striker or left wing? One or the other. So you see the situation right here of me defending? Look at where Kadira was positioned in regards to blocking that one guy right there. You know what? Kadira might actually be better than I thought he was going to be, which is great, to be honest. I thought he was going to be, like, really sluggish and doesn't really offer that great of a defensive presence, but he actually is so far. Look at his positioning just when I'm attacking. Like, that general area that he holds in the middle is great. Oh, dude, this guy actually has a sick Serie A team. Nice. I wonder if it's first owner. If that's a first owner team, man, GG's. That's a really cool team. I could already tell what Kadira's defensive capabilities are, guys. Honestly, he could potentially play the center mid position really well. Um, it's just that, man, like, it's that defensive presence that he has in the CDM position that I feel like is best for this card, you know? Look at that dribbling, man. And then he has that four star weak foot. Like, I, I didn't expect the card to be like this. See that little, like, emphasis touch that he does right there? That's where I don't want to use a player like him in the center mid position, you know? It's just, it's very small variables like that, but it's really not a, it's not a nuisance at all if you want to play him in the center, center mid position or the CDM position in any of the areas, to be honest. I make the tackle, go back into the play quickly. Nice. His transitioning is actually nice, guys. His acceleration doesn't feel like a huge nuisance on the card, to be honest. And I think it would be less of a nuisance, um, and even less of a nuisance. Wow, I can't even speak English right now. It would be less of a nuisance if you use him in the CDM position, because he would be on stay back while attacking by default constantly, because obviously he's going to be more defensive if he actually plays in that area. Great defensive presence right there. Thank goodness his uh, transitioning is not super heavy. That was a huge concern of mine in the beginning. See? It's not bad at all, man. He does. You definitely feel the initial acceleration with the card a little bit, though. That part, you do feel. It's the initial one um, that you feel the most. But, like I said, man, if you have him in the CDM position and he's around that general area constantly, it's, it's really not going to be, be that big of a nuisance, to be honest. He doesn't attack at all, eh? 
On Sayback, while a uh, cover center, he does not attack at all. So you can definitely trust him to do that constantly when you give him that instruction. Because sometimes, man, you know, let's just say, for instance, you give a Renato Sanchez stay back while attacking cover center. That guy will not always stay back while attacking cover center. He just won't because he has the high, high work rates. He will push forward because he's a very attacking and defensive oriented player. He's a combination of the two, right? So... Look at that defensive presence, man. That's insane. His tracking is great. Hey, man, I'll tell you guys this right now. This card is definitely better than I thought it would be. I know I keep saying it, but it's true, dude. That was a really good first time pass with Kadira to open up the space there with Anzu Fati. Like I said, guys, he is a type of player that you definitely can play in the center mid position. Like I said, I thought he was going to be way more sluggish. It's just that... You kind of want to have more responsive players in those areas, right? With him, you know that he offers a very good defensive presence for you. So I feel like that's not really something that you would want to ruin on a card like this, in my opinion. Look at the way he positions himself just to defend those areas. It's so nice. Ah, oh, beautiful goal right there. Nicely done. Nice little half fake shot and then pass. Nice little shot right away. No, nope, that's my ball with Kadira. Let's go. Look at his positioning. So he won't do any second man press right here. You have to control the midfield right here. Look at how he's positioned. Do you guys see that? This is a card I'm definitely going to do on my main account. I have to. I have to do this 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 guy on my main account. For my Serie A team, 100%, dude. If I And I have Alexandro's role to the final too. Some cool variables to work with in regards to that. Oh, that would have been a beautiful goal. By the way, if Rabiot gets a card in the future, he's going to be freaking dope, man. All right, guys. So final verdict on this card in regards to how he performs in game is that he definitely surprised me. He definitely performed better than I thought he would. Um, he is the type of car that you could potentially use in the center mid position for sure. However, I do think that his 70 agility and 72 balance will still affect the card a little bit. Normally, when it comes to using uh, midfielders in this game, it's ideal to use cards like Genie Wijnaldum or Renato Sanchez. You know, players that actually have very good dribbling cap uh, capabilities because... With the good dribbling capabilities, uh, it's just more ideal to have those types of players to open up the space quicker on the pitch. You guys can see, even from my general buildup, it's just nice to be able to do those quick little turns to kind of open up the space for the strikers making certain runs, um, the, the center mids making certain runs from the other side, or the fullbacks making certain runs. It's always very important to kind of utilize these things as much as possible. So for me, this card in the CDM position, whether it's the left center defensive mid, the center center mid position, I feel like this card will actually be pretty good in game. He's definitely a card I want to try to get on my main accounts because I am working towards a Serie A team, and I did recently do the Road to the Final Alexandro card, so there's a nice little German Juve Serie A link up that I, could, that I could just do right there, and I could just use the rare gold Rabiot as well, because he's pretty sick to use in this game, even though he's just a rare gold card too, so um, yeah, man, it's a fun card. I actually thought he was going to be worse, to be honest. He definitely performed better than I thought he would, but like I said, guys, Acceleration is still noticeable from the initial acceleration, but not a huge nuisance because I feel like his dribbling stats are actually compensating for his body type as much as possible, right? So the acceleration part, you'll notice a little bit. The agility and balance, you notice a little bit. But this card actually has a very good defensive presence and marks players quite nicely. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this player review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.